of vaping related illnesses. But at least the rate of new cases appears to be slowing down. That is a little bit of good news here. The Centers for Disease Control's latest numbers are bringing the total number of cases to 1,604, including 34 deaths. Dr. Andrea Anthony of Meritas Health Pulmonary Medicine joins us now as someone who specializes in respiratory health. What are you seeing on the front lines, Dr. Anthony? That's right. We've seen an uh, uptick in cases since the end of August in Kansas City and nationwide, and at least 7 to 10 cases that we've seen here at North Kansas City that we've diagnosed and treated. Um, we're seeing patients uh, using all different products, including THC-based products, CBD oil, and even electronic cigarettes with just traditional nicotine having problems. What are the symptoms? What are people coming in? What are their symptoms like? So a lot of people are coming in with what they think is just a routine bronchitis, cough, congestion, um, increased sputum, shortness of breath, um, and sometimes those are progressing to other symptoms like nausea, vomiting, that sort of thing. Now, you have some x-rays, and you can help us uh, go through some of these x-rays here. Tell us what we're looking at here with these uh, lung x-rays. So this is an example of a case that we had at North Kansas City. On the left, you can see there's a normal chest x-ray with dark lung tissue because it should be spongy and water-based. Mm -hmm. And on the right, you can start to see hints of white inflammatory lung tissue uh, concerning for some sort of lung damage that might be taking place. It's hard to tell in this x-ray on day one when the patient comes in with just some cough and, and fever and shortness of breath that it might be just a routine run-of-the-mill bronchitis or pneumonia that they're coming in with. Okay. Let's look at another x-ray here, and this is, what, just a couple of days later? Yeah, just a couple of days later, the patient returned to the ER when they weren't better. There's a rapid progression. On the left is day three, and by one week into the illness, um, on the right is day seven, and you can see the white material or inflammatory lung changes are progressing pretty quickly, causing the patient to be um, short of breath and have low oxygen levels, which wow. is concerning and what um, got the patient admitted to the hospital. Okay. Help us understand the CT scan, too. This is so a this, CT of the yeah. brain, right? Or no, so, the lungs? Lungs. <laughs> um, yeah. So on the left, you can see a normal CAT scan compared to this patient's CAT scan at one week into vaping-related lung illness. Um, you can see the dark material, which should be normal lung tissue. Uh, the heart's in the center. Um, and you can see on the right, we're seeing uh, white inflammatory changes that are pretty impressive, actually, uh, causing the patient to have pretty severe lung injury, shortness of breath, and high oxygen requirements. Uh, what do we know about the patient? Uh, was it chronic use of, uh, of vaping? I mean, how, how often did this person vape and how long for? So this particular case, the patient had admitted to vaping over the last couple months up to four or five times a day. Um, so not completely excessively, but pretty frequent use, and uh, had admitted to using THC-based products and probably not necessarily uh, from stores, per se, maybe mm -hmm. street-modified or unregulated product that they were getting and likely exposed themselves to stuff that shouldn't be in there. Right. What's the bottom line on all this? Um, the bottom line for most of these patients is... Uh, you don't know what you're getting. And a lot of street-based product is not regulated. They're putting fillers in them that shouldn't be there and it can cause severe lung damage. And we're seeing it progress pretty rapidly from no problems to severe lung injury and even death in just a week or so. Yeah, and the levels of nicotine in some of these uh, are, are highly addictive for those yes. who use it. And it's much more readily available than it is in cigarettes, so it's actually more addictive than cigarettes have been. Oh. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Anthony. Sure. Good to see you. The uh, pulmonologist at Meritus Health Pulmonary Medicine provide a full range of diagnostics, tools, treatment options, and lung care services. To learn more about how to quit vaping, you can do it, or to stop smoking, yes, you can, visit nkch.org slash quit.